Hi, Charlie here with LVI America. In this video, I'm going to talk to you about the menu system that comes in the Magnolink Zip. All right. Well, I just woke the unit up and I did that by moving under the tray and we'll talk about sleep mode when we get in the menu. So to turn the menu on, you press the function button in. Okay, you'll see the first one I have is autofocus, on and off. To activate, once you see what you want on the screen, you press function again. Now I have just shut off autofocus. That's great for handwriting or you know, if you're doing a lot of hand work under there and you want it just to stay focused. Okay, but you also notice that my power button is flashing. That's just to let me know my autofocus is shut off. So to turn it back on, I just press it in and you'll notice the button stop flashing. My next feature is mirror. Now, all zips come with the distance camera, okay? And I just rotate the camera on, but I can swing this all the way around and do self-view. And in self-view, I, in self-view, when you touch this eye, it looks like you're touching the other eye. It messes things up, but like your mirror at home, when you turn on mirror mode, when I touch this eye, it looks like I'm touching that eye. Great for people that want to use it for putting on makeup and things like that. Okay, now you notice when I don't have any activity in the menu system, it automatically goes away. So I'm going to turn it back on here and we're going to get back to the next one. Focus. I can actually manually focus it. So I'm working on an object and I want to get deep down maybe a circuit board and I need to see it and I want it to focus down deep in the object. I can manually focus it. My next function is reference line. So that's basically vertical, horizontal lines and masking. So to activate it, I push it in, and then I go ahead and select the one I want to work with, and then I press in again, and now I can adjust it, okay? And to get rid of it, I just wipe it off the screen, and I'm good to go. Okay, next one is lamp. Now you'll see the lamp on is an LED lamp, it's very bright, and it gives you great light source. But it might be too much, I might not need it, I have good light where I am. So to activate that, I turn it in, and then I turn it. And you'll notice it's slowly going, it's a rheostat, now it's off. If I want it back on, I turn it, I'm gonna go fully bright, and then I'm good to go there. Okay, so now, after the lamp, I have sleep. Now you saw it was a, it was blacked out. My screen and my light go to sleep after whatever incremental time you set it to. It has some settings in there. This is fantastic for extending the life of the battery. It's a five to nine hour battery in it. Using sleep mode helps amazingly. Okay, the next mode, I can turn it on or I can shut it off. I mean, with a certain amount of time, the, the unit will shut off. The only way to turn it on is by hitting the power button. My screen brightness, I can control that in here. I can also control it with the function key, knob. All right, and that is my battery. That is uh, what's left in my battery. I can look, go in the menu to take a look at that, but each time I turn the unit on, it displays the battery level. That's my on-screen language display. And the last one is exit. I press it and my menu goes away. I hope that was helpful. Thank you for watching.